Hi everyone, welcome to my latest video. Um, so if you haven't noticed already, we're at a completely different angle and it looks nicer, I'm hoping. So this is, I got a new camera, I'm pretty excited about it. So it'll be nice to not use my webcam to make videos anymore. I'm really hoping the sound's not bad because I don't have a microphone for it yet. That's maybe step two, maybe through being as my tripod's not very good. It's kind of a bajillion years old. Really flimsy and cheap. So if, I don't know if you can tell, I went for a walk. So if my nose is red and my cheeks are red, that's why. I went to get coffee. That's why I don't have my other mug. I have the Bubba. It says Bubba on it because it, you know, holds a lot of caffeine. It has a bottle opener on it. I don't really know why. I'm assuming it's because it looks like a keg, but enough about my mug. I haven't really decided how I'm going to do this. I don't even know if I like this framing's good. I might have to Move it closer, I might have to move far away. We'll find out after I post this video and decide. I feel like I'm slouching. Slouching's bad. Um, oh, I got this cool new shirt. That's right, Evil Dead. I enjoy those films. I'm actually really excited for the new one. I don't really know what to expect. It looks freaky, so here's hoping that it's it's decent. Because I would hate for them to make a, do a remake and it just suck. So this past weekend, I went to the bar again. It's always, it's always a mixed bag when we go to the bar. There's some fascinating people. Apparently, my friends knew the bartender and she came and told us while we were sitting there that the girl that was sitting at the bar, this drunk girl, pretty much threw up into her hand and kind of like, and then claimed that she didn't throw up even though the bartender watched her. Uh, we did some dancing. I just think about being at the bar just makes me laugh because it's so funny. People there are ridiculous. You see, I feel almost like bad for going because it's such like a, a sketchy place, but at the same time, if you were me and you went to this bar, you'd be like, I need to go to the bar again just to see who's there. Like, there's this guy, we don't know his real name. I've dubbed him Dancing Jim. He's an older, older fellow, let's say, like old, but older than me. When I say older, it's older than me. He's like probably close to 40, maybe. He always wears a hat. I've talked about Dancing Jim before. Recently, around Christmas time, he was at the mall. He was in the mall and he was selling maple syrup at a booth. And then he offered my mom and I maple syrup, which was really awkward because we only know him from the bar as Dancing Jim. I don't know who he is in real life. So the other day at work, I was working, of course. I was making salads and a lady was like, do you have any honey mustard dressing? I'm like, I don't know, I'll go to the back. So go to the back, there's like 10 cases of dressing. Like they come in boxes, like they're this big and they're little packets. So I went and like, we have everything but. So I went back to the front and I'm like, we've got everything pretty much but honey mustard dressing. And she kind of looks at me, she's like, you're joking. And I'm like, yeah, I'm totally lying to you, because that's what I do in the salad bar. I joke all the time to customers about the dressings we carry. It just makes my day. It makes working there okay, because this is what I do. I have to take a sweater off. It's happening. I'm stripping on camera. So I recently started thinking about where I was this time last year. This time last year, I was living in a different town. I was working two jobs that I hated. One of which was working at a college residence where I had to deal with drunk children. By children, I mean like 18 year olds and having to try to keep an eye on them. And you know, it's impossible trying to keep a bunch of drunk teenagers in line. I didn't have a car at the time. So getting to work was kind of difficult. It was a lot of biking. I remember like walking home at 2 a.m. after work. I lived with some pretty rad people. Like where I was living wasn't a problem. The months of February and March and even April were really hard months. I didn't even know what to do with myself half the time. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to do anything. Trying to get out of where I was. I was stuck in kind of a rut because I was trying to move to Toronto at the time. Was not working. Probably a good thing I didn't. Like moving home was probably the best decision. I've had the most success here than I've had anywhere. But yeah, it's, it's weird. I thought that when I moved home, I'd feel like I was going backwards, which at the time it felt like I was going backwards. Like I was moved out on my own for the most part. And then suddenly now I'm back home back where I started. But it actually turned out I'm more, I'm further ahead now than I was then. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up because I've been talking way too long. I'll edit this down, but you're gonna, you won't even know how long I've been talking for. I could have been talking for an hour, you won't know, cause it'll probably only be five minutes. Have a good day and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later.